everyone. Today I'm going to go over 15 things that you need to know if you're going to live in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm going to start with number one, and that is where we're at. So we are basically right at the uh, center of the state, but the, the top half of it. So we're from east to west located in the middle, but we are the top half. So when they say central Kentucky, that's not true. We're in the center of the state from east to west, but we're in the northernmost part of the state because we have the Indiana border uh, right in, right in front of us um, between us and Indiana's the Ohio River. So that's the first thing to know where we're at. They call us the southernmost northern state and the northernmost southern state. So take what you want from that. Number two would be the climate. We They consider us a humid subtropical climate. Um, summers are hot and winters they call them mild. This winter, other than those few days we had right before Christmas, has been pretty mild. Um, in February, we've had 76 degree days. We sent, we had set a record. So that's not very normal, but it is not, I'm from the North. I'm from Wisconsin. So this is really nothing. Um, it's taken me 26 or 27 years to finally kind of acclimate to this, um, being here, being here and not, um, I used to not be cold ever. So I, I get cold now. Uh, we've been used to. All right. So uh, summers are brutal to me. They're brutal. We have a lot of humidity. So it's it's tough on me. My hair kinks up. I can't keep it straight. Um, if you have asthma, they have those weather alert days for people with different um, breathing conditions uh, telling you not to even go outside. So we have some of those just based on mostly the humidity then you combine that with the heat. So it's funny when I think back when I was growing up, people would say, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Well, we didn't even really have a clue what humidity was compared to here. So moving on to number three, the cost of living. They say the cost of living here is lower than much of the United States. Um, when they gave us the cost of living index, I do have some notes, so please forgive me. The notes, we're at 86.8, which the national average is 100. So we're below it just by, what, 13.2%. Um, we have lower housing costs, lower transportation costs, and lower health care costs. And uh, one of my later uh, points is that we have some amazing health care here. It is uh, kind of the epicenter. I know we're not Mayo Clinic, but, you know, they did do the first um, arm transplant and things like that. So moving on that, but I'll just let you know, like a one bedroom apartment on average is around $910. Um, I know I actually have uh, a couple of houses rented out that are below that a little bit. Uh, for a two bedroom. So you can get some serious, some still some reasonable, but things are moving up. So just kind of keep that in mind. Number four is the economy. Our economy is pretty diverse. We have a lot of healthcare, like I mentioned. Uh, logistics is a big deal because of where we're situated. We, they call us the crossroads of, of the United States because we are kind of in the middle of the eastern two-thirds of the united states so just when you consider you know the eastern two-thirds we're like dead in the middle that's why the ups has a hub here so you know the top employers i'll just let you know humana health insurance company norton healthcare these are the um, top employers in louisville uh ups airlines um jefferson county public schools because it's such a public big public school system it's one of the biggest in the country um, University of Louisville, which is also a research university, and I'll talk about that later. Ford Motor Company has two different plants here, truck plants and that. Um, Kroger, which is a grocery store chain. Um, they have, I think, like 23 stores in the area. Uh, Baptist Health is a healthcare provider and hospital, of course. Amazon. We have two Amazon locations. One is it called in, in Shepherdsville, which is just slightly south of Louisville, like from downtown Louisville. It's probably a 20 five minute ride. And then we have one just north of us um, in Jeffersonville. So it's in literally from downtown. That's a 10 minute ride. It's not too bad. So uh, we have two that close to each other. So that really is what did hurt a lot of small businesses, by the way, myself included. When they came to town, they took a lot of the labor force away. And uh, GE Appliance, they call it Appliance Park. So um, that's here in Louisville. So you have some pretty big heavy hitters in the uh, employer field. So moving on, and, and of course, you know, you can work in tech in any of those or, or whatever. So um, it's not just, you have to be a nurse if you're in healthcare. 
Uh, our population, number five, our population is around 600,000 people. Um, they said Jefferson County, now let me to let you know, I think 2006, Jefferson County and Louisville merged. So we only have one government for both. Okay. So that supposedly saved us some money. So they're saying that in Jefferson County, there's like 767,000 people and the, the area is like to 398 square miles just fyi of jefferson county so um so just slightly over half a million people in the city because they're saying six hundred thousand. so just so you know it's so it's not a, a metropolis like you know your new york's and chicago's but you still get that city vibe if you want to live downtown Number six. Now, before I tell you number six, I need you to go smash the like button, share, subscribe, do all those things for me, okay? Because I'm working really hard out here for you. All right, moving on to number six. Number six is transportation. Uh, they said we have a well-developed transportation system, so I'm going to list them off. Cars, most people have cars. Now, I know you go to New York and Chicago, not everyone has a car. Here, pretty much people have cars. It's kind of a thing. Uh, we do have the TARC, which is the public transportation, the buses. Uh, there's a bicycle lane downtown. Um, they've made bike lanes, and it's kind of the fodder for jokes because there's not that many people in these bike lanes. Unfortunately, now the last couple of years, they have actually put out um, bikes that you can rent, you know, swipe your card and drive it around, as well as scooters. They've done that, too, the last couple of years. So that's kind of been something different. Uh, walking, of course, you know, a lot of areas are walk friendly, which I've done videos on those if you want to go find them. Ride sharing, we do have Uber and Lyft and then traditional taxis. We've had those. And then, of course, we have the airport. Not that you're going to fly to work, but um, we actually have two airports. We have Bowman Field and then Louisville or Muhammad Ali Louisville International Airport. So uh, so we actually have two, technically two airports. So uh, getting around is not a big problem. Uh, they are talking about light rail. They've been talking about that forever. Uh, we have some like a trolley thing, but it's more for fun. It's not like it's going to get you to work, but there's some trolley things in the summer. Um, just like they have like some horse and carriage things for fun in the summer. Um, housing. Number seven is housing. So let's talk about housing. It's pretty affordable. Like I mentioned earlier, um, it's you can get everything from a bungalow type house to, you know, a mansion. So it's it's pretty diverse. The styles are fairly diverse. Um, it is the largest, let's see, the largest surviving, um, uh, what's that, cache of Victorian homes in the United States. So um, the, the beautiful architecture that goes with that, and it's usually in Old Louisville, you'll hear, you'll hear about Old Louisville, that's just north of, uh, excuse me, south of downtown. Um, our stock is mixed. Um, I was just kind of ch checking my notes. Uh, we have a big rental market here. Um, the neighborhoods are diverse. You can get to, you know, your hippie types, um, then your traditional, you know, three car, two bath, you know, everyone has a nine to five types. Um, so it's just, it's very diverse. You just have to find the market, which is why you need someone like me who knows the city and knows where you need to be. So um, and then moving on to number, number eight is education. So I listed all of the post-secondary education. So I'm not going to talk about an under, you know, the, the high schools and such. But we have the University of Louisville, Bellarmine University, Jefferson County Technical College, Spalding University, Sullivan University, and Indiana University Southeast. So all of those are in Louisville area. So literally where I'm at is downtown and you have University of Louisville downtown, Spalding downtown, and JCTC downtown. They literally are all within almost walking distance, definitely biking distance of each other. So those are all, and then we have the, um, oh, what's the, it's a, um, it's a historically black university, um, not, it escapes me right now, but we have one of those, uh, a seminary type college so anyway um so you can stay home stay here and get some post next secondary or go back to school that you don't have to travel for it this is what i'm really trying to get to so sorry i bumbled that but number nine uh is healthcare. you know i, I think you'd be really 
task to find a more robust area with healthcare. Now, I know some people go to like Cincinnati to their children's hospital or th things like that. But um, as far as the diversity and the offerings, I feel like it's really great here. Um, there's so many hospitals. Um, we have like Baptist Uni University, uh, let's see, University Hospital, Baptist Hospital, Jewish, which I think is now part of University of Louisville. Um, Norton's healthcare system, which has taken over everything. So we have quite a few hospitals. They have many, many locations. Um, and so you're really never too far from a hospital in the case of emergency. And uh, the, I mean, downtown is just nothing but like where one hospital ends, the next one begins. It's just that crazy. So if you are in the medical field, this is definitely a place that you can grow, uh, find, you know, employment. I mean, they're, they're actually such a shortage here that they're still importing, um, importing nurses and stuff. My husband, no, my, uh, one of my stepdaughters was in the hospital recently and every single nurse she had during her stay was not from Louisville. They are a traveling nurse because we're so short. So thinking about, you know, getting a nursing, where is where the place to be? Um, we do have, of course, you know, Humana headquarters is here. So you have, you know, the health insurance company here. So that, that makes it probably, it's part of the, the equation. All right, moving on to number 10, one of my favorites would be food. We have a lot of food. We eat out a lot here. Uh, me and my husband eat out a lot. I don't cook as much anymore. No, that's just mostly him and I at home. So um, we have lots of dishes. We are known, Louisville's known for the hot brown. It's kind of a big deal. It's a very rich dish if you haven't had it. I think everybody should have it once. Um, it's a rich, very rich. I wouldn't eat it too many times. You probably clog your arteries, but it's super good. And um, But not everybody's as good. Go right to the Brown Hotel and get a hot brown. But, I mean, we have, of course, your typical Southern cuisine with grits and things like that. Um, bourbon and whiskey are, of course, you know, been really infused into the um, the the food the last five years, I guess. Farm to table is a big deal. You have a lot of the chefs wanting to do that now. Um, international cuisine, because we have so many different um, ethnicities here. So you'll get a lot of the different restaurants. I mean, I love some of the, oh my goodness, some of the Indian restaurants that we have. And obviously good Mexican restaurants. And those are um, everywhere. You can find Mexican restaurants, uh, lots of, lots of Indians, but just Ethiopian, um, pan African. I mean, there's just anything you want to eat is here. I feel like, um, you know, if you, if you want your New York deli stuff, the different types of pizza, every kind of pizza, you know, is here and people always inevitably complain about it. I'm like, no, it's not New York, but it's pretty close, you know? So anyway, um, and then, oh, we do have food festivals. So there, that's one thing I do like to go to festivals for is just trying all the different foods that are there. Number 11, I had to get a list of, and that is the attractions. I really hate when people say there's nothing to do because there's always something to do. I grew up in a town of a thousand people. Now I'm going to tell you, if you want to say there's nothing to do and there's still stuff to do, you know, you could go bike riding. We would go in the woods. We would go hunting, fishing, you know, there's, there's stuff to do. So you just have to open your mind up, but Louisville, even if you're not into hunting and fishing, um, you know, there's Churchill Downs, uh, the Slugger Museum in Bat Factory, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Muhammad Ali Center, the Kentucky Derby Museum, the Louisville Zoo, which is really great. 1700 animals from around the world. The Mega Cavern, which is the largest underground zip lining and stuff like that. Um, the Fraser History Museum, which is super cool. And uh, the Louisville Palace, which is a historic theater that has concerts and that. It's gorgeous inside. Absolutely gorgeous. And Waterfront Park. So, which is, I don't know if it won, but recently it was up for, not. it was nominated as one of the 10 best um, riverfronts, waterfronts in the United States. I don't know if it won, but it was doing pretty well. I, I probably need to check that. But um, so there are, there's so many different museums. You could just, I think there's probably 20 museums. There's a lot of museums. And then you have your, like the science center for your kids. And that's always changing. That's three stories, you know? And um, I mean, I used to take my, my daughter there all the time. You just get a pass, you know, you get the dual pass with the zoo and the museum and the science center for $220 for a family pass for a year. And then you got parking too. So, um, and it was great because then you can get in anytime. 
Uh, they had the IMAX movies and stuff. So uh, there's there's so much to do. Um, we have the Center for the Arts, which is where the ballets and concerts and things like that are. We always would go to especially the Nutcracker. Um, I saw Lion King there when it was there. So um, we have a lot. Don't let anyone say, oh, there's nothing to do. Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're broke. I don't know. But um, Parks and Recreation we have, it's kind of a joke, but we have over 120 parks in the local area. That is a lot. Now, some might just be a little corner lot where, you know, there's a couple benches and, um, you know, just a grassy area. Um, there's one that's similar to that, but just has like some water fountains shooting up. Um, and then you got like waterfront park that has all kinds of water shooting out everywhere. You have Cherokee park, which is, um, I forget it is 409 acres. So it's amazing. Um, Seneca park, which has a, you know, a lot of people go run in there. There's a track, uh, soccer fields, things like that. Um, uh, so let's see the big one another big one is shawnee park um it's not so much it's mostly open so a lot of football basketball courts that's kind of where it's been known as a lot of basketball going on there uh chickasaw park is gorgeous ducks and ponds so there are uh, parks everywhere um that you can go to they're never far away um and they're different each one is, is a little different as far as what it's going to offer you know so uh so i just knew somebody once that was going to their goal was to do all of the parks in one year. And I was thinking, holy crap, that's like one park every three days, you know? And I mean, I guess you could knock off a few in a day, you know, like the, do, you know, check off the little ones that are, you know, like nothing, this, you know, a couple of benches, but I just, it was funny. So um, moving on my number 13. Now, if you haven't done it yet, I'm going to need you to hit like and subscribe. Come on, help a girl out. You know, I'm working hard for you. Okay. All right. Sports is a big deal here. It really is. If you don't like sports, you know, you might not fit in, maybe don't come, but, um, most of the time, uh, sports are, there's so many different sports. So Louisville basketball is a big deal. We have Kentucky basketball right up the road, you know, so that was a, kind of a rivalry. A lot of people hate each other, um, on the different sides. Sometimes there's brawls. It's kind of, goofy but um we also though have i mean the baseball team at university of louisville does really good they go to the college world series quite often or, or at least into that you know in that deal we have the louisville city fc which is a professional soccer team that plays here um we also have the women's um soccer team uh louisville women's i forget the name and i apologize uh we have the uh, i'm looking this up louisville extreme which is a professional indoor football team plays here at the Yum Center, conduct a uh, derby, which I didn't know about this one. I just found this out. Derby City Roller Girls, which is a women's flat track roller derby team. I didn't even know. Like, who knew? And then there's the Kentucky Thoroughbreds, which I haven't heard of, but the professional basketball team that plays in the basketball league, TBL. But, um, you know, obviously there's the high school football thing is big deal, a big deal here. Um, Trinity and St. X are kind of two of the big players, but Manuel does really well. Manuel High School Central um, does well. So um, those are some bigger schools that are um, in high school that is a big deal. Obviously, we have the whole Kentucky Derby thing. So you got that going on. So horse racing. Um, lots of soccer. Soccer is pretty popular here. Um, there's a lot of soccer fields like Cox's Park, which is on the River Road. Um, has a lot of soccer uh, fields and goals and that. So, um, so there's a lot of sports, whatever sport you want, it's here. Um, we have an extreme park, you know, with the skateboarding thing. Um, so I think pickleball is picking up, which I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I know people that have. So number 14 is culture. So it's pretty rich. And, you know, I mentioned that because we just have a lot of diversity here, but we have the Kentucky Center for Performing Arts, the Muhammad Ali Center, uh, the Fraser History Museum, Speed Art Museum, which is gorgeous from the outside alone. Um, beautiful. The Louisville Ballet, which I am fond of. Uh, Actress Theater of Louisville. Uh, I used to take my daughter there a lot. Uh, Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory, which is pretty neat. And the Kentucky Derby Museum. Just to name a few, quite honestly. 
So um, there's a lot of cultural experiences. Um, so, you know, if, if we are bidding with other cities for people to come here, you know, we're able to offer these things. Um, I know when I worked in the corporate world, we gave a lot of money. Like they came to us and said, hey, they called it fun for the arts. And so we would donate a percentage, you know, whatever, $15 or whatever it is per paycheck to um, to go to these these things. So the and then like companies like Humana, Brown Foreman, Ford, they all pour, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars into our arts. And, you know, obviously that's so they can attract the best and in, in top talent in the country to come here. So, all right, number 15. So before I close, I'm going to ask you if you can go ahead, you know, I'm going to ask you one last time, go hit this like button, subscribe, you know, comment. If you don't like my video, that's cool. If you don't like my hair color, I don't care. You know, make a comment is fine. But uh, my name is Margaret Weathers. I'm a Coldwell Banker McMahon. And um, what I believe is that I... Getting to know your realtor is helpful in finding the right home because you might be someone who really loves city life, you know, and then you need to have someone that knows where you would want to go. You don't want to be out in Shelbyville if you want city life, you know, and vice versa. You do not want to be in downtown Louisville if you're kind of a country gal or a country guy, you know. So, um, and there's so much diversity. I mean, there are some, there's some bumpkins, you know, in Louisville, don't get it wrong. A lot of people think it's just urban. It's so not. So, uh, so there's, there's country areas, there's urban areas, you know, there's, uh, your suburbs, you know, type thing. So knowing, getting to know me and me to getting to know you and what do you like? What is your lifestyle? Are you a hiker? Do you want to be in one of these houses that's off one of these parks? You know, you can step out your door and go hiking. That's what I'm here for is to help you find that, especially if you're, you know, um, moving here, relocating and you don't have a lot of time and, you know, I would be your boots on the ground. So, you know, call me 502-664-9971. Again, 502-664-9971. And I'd be glad to help you. So wrapping up with number 15 is community. And uh, we do have a strong community. Um People really find their niches, you know, whether it be their church, you know, there's a lot of faiths here, um, everything from, you know, Catholicism, Baptists, um, Mormons, um, uh, different um, Islam religions. Um, I probably said that wrong and I apologize. Don't mean it in any disrespectful way. Uh, you know, right now we're in Lent. So obviously the Catholic uh, thing was a big deal. Uh, Pentecostal religions. So, you know, whatever religion you're looking for is definitely here. There's going to be a group for it. If you're into, um, you know, if you're into pickleball, there's going to be a group for it. So you'll find, you know, you'll find your tribe here. You know, you, you might have to look a little bit. Social media is going to help that. Um, if your kids are in school, you know, obviously you'd be able to maybe co-mingle with some of those people. Um, but, uh, you know, I, when my daughter moved schools and I mean, right away, like the same day she moved school, she had a basketball game like that. She was immediately on the basketball team and I was, didn't know anyone. It's the first day of school. Right. And so I'm in the bleachers, you know, with my pom poms and everything. Cause I'm super mom. And all of those moms came down out of the uh, bleachers and welcomed me. And I was just in shock and awe that that happened in this big city, you know, to me. So, um, so it's just a really great place to live. You'll find your tribe here. And I would love to be able to help you to find the right home that would fit your family. So until next time, take care of each other and give me a call 502-664-9971. Bye-bye.